<laughs> hey guys, look, see? Nature. Incoming duck, duck, two ducks, but I didn't duck. We're about 20 minutes north of Ramona, California. Little swimming hole right here. If you look right up there, there is a slide that goes into a 20 foot hole. And oh man, this thing is tight and hot now. I better get in there. Believe it or not, guys, sometimes when I fall, it's actually on purpose. Oh, shit. Wow, that's cold. It feels more like my wetsuit is made out of ice. Are you yes, I need it. This water's really nice here. Unfortunately, every time you get close to it, you slide in it like it's Hulk's diarrhea. That is definitely hot now. <laughs> there goes little bullfrogs again. Let's see if we can go over there and check out that pool. Hopefully I don't fall in this big cracker right here and land on Matthew. Look at this cave. Who put this cave here? Why are we going down it? Because this is Come on cave. Be good to me cave. Don't drop any rattlesnakes on me, Cave. We got over to the frog pond. Robert saw some kind of garter snake and then it ducked down. All right, Caden, in the nose. No. We believe it's a striped garter. If we're wrong, correct us. We've never seen it before. Boy, Steve. Oh, good God. Yeah, maybe you don't want to hold them. I just offered to let Caden hold them. Bad idea. This makes the dumpster behind McDonald's smell good. Makes the toilet in McDonald's smell good. You smell horrible, dude. Are you sure you're even alive? He's got to be a zombie with how bad he smells. He's got to be. Making zombie loafs. This is what a stinky snake looks like, right there. Man, he, oh, good. Oh, stop, no, get him away. <laughs> Come on, blow him away before we die. <laughs> Mustard gassing us. You ready to release him? Yes. This is hands down the smelliest snake we've ever touched in our lives. Oh my God, look at that thing go. It's like a serpent, or sea snurfant. A sneeze snurfant. Get sea back here, you sea snurfant. <laughs> that thing smells so bad that within 30 seconds of getting a whiff, I got indigestion. Okay, I'm not even kidding. They say most herps belong back in the wild when you catch them. That one, definitely. We're road cruising, looking for flips. Caught a fat gopher. Feisty guy. Not once in my life have I seen a gopher snake this agitated. Here, we're gonna put you over there so you don't get mangled on the road. Went way uphill from that stream, ended up getting back into residential, so it's abandoned house flipping time. Yeah. Ooh, it's a red coach whip. Ow, ow, he bit me. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Ow, 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 ow. Stop biting me. He's catching me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the heck is this? <laughs> Jeez. He bit me twice and then he pooped on my wounds. So he got me right, right yeah. there. Got me right there. He's got some little razor teeth. Whoa. All right. Oh, hey. You want me to get any of this set? Yep, I'm underneath it right now. There's awesome. Okay. Whew. Do I get that? I've never seen it. Okay. Possum. Do not let the bite you. So I dropped the snake. Robert's backing me up with little possums. What? I know you're afraid, but you're still really cute. <laughs> trying to get you now. Look at this thing. I hope he doesn't jump over and bite my face. Okay. There's a mouse in there. <laughs> Jeez. That mouse is straight ninja. You see those moves that mouse like, oh heck no, you put me in with a possum. Mickey's out of here. F that. Ah! Which direction you go? This way? Like this way. Look at Okay, he's coming out. Hey, look at this. It does that look like a little fox. He's a fox and possum. Hey, look, he's faking dead. Ah, I didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, how did No, 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 fake dead. Ah, oh, geez, you got me. Ah. I like this one. This one's nicer. All right, let's take him over here and put him on his brother. Now, these guys aren't as feisty as they pretend to be. You can literally put your hand right in his mouth. Describe you. Come here. You put your finger right in his mouth. See? They don't really do much. Possum punch. 
You do smell kind of like pee though, even though you're really cute. He you remind me of the kids. They smell like pee and they're really cute. I'm wearing Sonic and this thing looks like a hedgehog. Sonic the hedge possum. You guys dare me to cuddle with a possum? <laughs> For those of you who aren't experienced cuddling with possum butts, it's very fluffy. And he's also been sleeping with rats, so I'm definitely gonna have to wash my face. <laughs> Come this way. No, you're supposed to be taking a picture. Hey, dude, you see that over there? Do you see it? I see it. It's right over there. Do you see it? I see it. Do you see it? I totally see it. How about you? Don't try that with a wild possum. It could totally just bite your face off. I'm not even really too worried about the bite itself, but the bite could have a virus, bacteria, um, because he's in a pile of rats. Me just touching him technically and breathing close to him could give me some type of bacterial infection or a virus. What's that dog? He got rabies from the possum. This is awesome possum sawsome right here. You see this? Dude, I can smell your breath. You know your breath smells kind of funny, right? I, I swear. They do. He smells, he smells like milk. Yeah. Not only do they look like a pillow, they work like one and they're self-warming. You can actually use his tail to clean out your ears while you're sleeping as well. Okay, Robert, so what do you want to do with them? I, I want to hold right. the nice one. This one seems to be nicer. Can I borrow your gloves? Oh, yeah. Okay. You hang on, bro. You hang on to right there. Okay, here's this. He feels safe because he's hanging out on Sonic. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave now. <laughs> That's Did one it? mean possum. Did you guys hear that growl? <laughs> <laughs> that possum's part oh, massive. After holding the gloves on, I decided to go freehand because he's not really too aggressive. Or she. I think you're a she though. Alright, handing off to Matthew. Not scared of us really anymore. No, no, no. That hairdo's all wrong. We gotta do this. You need a mohawk. A possum mohawk. So, right there, you start at the front. You gotta push out his eyebrows so it matches his facial structure. Just like that. So he's got like a T in his forehead. So we got to push forward just like that. So he's got big bushy eyebrows, okay? And then we mohawk it. Oh my god, we just oh. gave a possum a mohawk. Oh. That is an awesome possum mohawk right there. There we go. And we are now done with the awesome possum mohawk. Check that out. No possum in SoCal looks as cool as this one, I promise you guys. That's the most awesome possum ever. I wonder if we can do anything with his ears. No, you're okay. You're okay, bro. Okay. What do they feel like? Um, I'm guessing it feels similar to bat wings. His ears feel like bat wings. After letting these things crawl all over us with them hanging out with the rats all day, I'm gonna have to take an awesome shampossum shower. Not that it's right to test on animals, but man, I bet this thing would look really shiny and fluffy if I use some really good shampoo on him. Then I can go home and get my awesome possum shower. There you go, guys. Okay, well, this one's pretending he died. Oh, oh, there they go. There's one. So there's one going in. Are you gonna go? You're free. You can totally go now. But she kind of likes you now. I just let go of the possums, and that's all I got in my mind. I'm hoping possibly there's a snake under here. Okay, I see a cricket. It's one of those crickets you've never seen before. And you've never seen them before because they live for five and a half seconds. They just die right there. Yeah, that's right. See that, before I could even put the board down, he died of old age. <laughs> that cricket's been smoking too much crack it. Sorry about the noise if you can hear it. The Ortega Highway, right up behind us. Whoever's lived here for the last hundred years, on and off different families, they've done nothing but just take this place over with their own vet fruits, vegetables, flowers. There's a stream right here behind us. Oh wow, that's actually warmer than I thought. It feels like it's in the 60s. Well, I ain't swimming in no 60s. Apparently there's a swimming hole up there too. What do you mean this is beautiful? Well, I ain't swimming in no 60s. I'm... This isn't any greener than the toilets you're used to swimming in. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, yeah, speaking of toilets. <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna head that way a little bit more and see if we can find Wow, those are pretty flowers. You hear that, guys? Call of the wild. I think that's Bigfoot. You guys hear that? It's Bigfoot. Either that or it's medium foot. I don't know. Dang, I keep stepping in squirrel holes. They keep doing that. I know what I'm eating for dinner tonight. Tasty high cholesterol squirrel with ranch sauce. Enough of the introduction. Let's go see what we can find. Hey, look. Speaking of fruit, right there. Does that look tasty? 
No, because I hate grapefruit. But some oranges and lemons sound pretty good. We're making our way to the swimming hole right now. So it's supposed to be about a 35 foot jump on this hole. Possible trout and snakes and frogs around it. Oh. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Hey, cannibal, 35 feet on my stomach. <laughs> or that'd be a belly flop, my bad. You would die, that's way too shallow. That's like two feet. No, there's that guy who sets world records. If he has at least three feet of water, he can do it. That's probably a little bit less, but I'm not that good. Yep, I am. <laughs> We're heading to that uh, that hole over there. We went past it intentionally trying to see what else is over here. Didn't exactly pan out. I'm crossing the log and I'm not allowed to say, okay guys. Okay guys, let's roll down. <laughs> oh, Just in case me and his mom die in a car accident, he has to get donated to a zoo or a circus. Just make sure it's secure. Don't! You suck. <laughs> Success has to be earned, boys and girls. It cannot be handed to you the first time around. In order to have victory, you must taste defeat. Or nasty fish water. Yeah. I was expecting You can get across there and rock climb up and then jump off. I got my gear on. I'm ready for the jump from way the heck up there. But I'm gonna go down in that underwater cave that's down at the base of this real quick. Got my flashlight, GoPro. Let's see what we can find. I'm hoping some salamanders, some frogs, some fish. Who knows? But it can get a little murky down there. All right, guys, let me see if I can chameleon my way across this log. Okay. Here we go, guys. Oh, oh, you are oh, a bad oh, chameleon. Bullfrog! Yeah, cool. I think he's down here. Yeah, I see his bubble trail. There he is. I see your bubble trail. It's a little murky. to the back side of the cave. Oh, it's too murky though, I can't see anything. Every time a tadpole swims, a single little tadpole makes a cloud storm. <sighs> Robert's gonna jump first, then I'm jumping second. All right, all you bro. Three, two, one. It's my turn now. Whoa, holy Whoa. Holy I don't know if I got any of that on my GoPro. Three, two, one. I'm going up top right now, gonna head up this little trail, and then we're gonna turn around right there. Robert's gonna climb up there to the high spot and jump, and then we're good to go. That was far. 
I'm too skinny to do the jump. Every time I do it, there's nothing of me to hit the water and slow my impact. So I go straight through it like a freaking fleshy needle straight to the dirt and rocks on the bottom. A while back, Neil was selling a boat into the mainland, and now he's selling some sticks into this pond. But thankfully for us, he is a stick, so he's able to float on the other slightly larger sticks. My wannabe pirate son, Johnny Derp, set sail in this pond hoping to find some treasure. Where's the treasure? I'm freezing from getting up there. Somehow he's sitting in there. Are you gonna get out? Are you cold yet? Nope, I'm actually warm. Uh, who lives in a pond in the middle of the Ortegas? Abandoned ship. The good thing about playing this version of Sea of Thieves is that there's nobody here to gank us. Uh, except you. Oh yeah, that's right, I did gank Neo on the... I made Neo walk the plank earlier, guys. Did you see that? There's no, like, sharks, so unless they're man-eating tadpoles in here, you're pretty safe. <sighs> Welcome back to the land. Oh, hey, Beagle Pirate. That was freaking cool. I made my own raft. Guys, that was almost as cool as that one time that one guy sailed across the ocean and found that other place. What was his name? Christopher Columbus? Yeah, that guy. When you're, when you're talking to the camera, okay, you actually gotta be really close. Yeah, that's a little bit too close. <laughs> gotta do that Bear Cruz maneuver. You're a terrible sailor. You forgot your paddle. Get back here, Popeye. Oh, duh. Really? Oh, that's a possible stomach. Uh oh, uh oh. You got awesome possum all over you. I'm gonna have to clean a lot today. Rogue. Neo's showing everybody how to be a rogue. <laughs> I got a million views. 